Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Garza of the Librarian again, and today we're going to be reviewing Mac and Via. Mac and Via, of course, is a website and an app that you can use to download ebooks and audiobooks, as well as other great resources such as an online encyclopedia, dictionaries, atlases, and even Brain Pop. So to start off, you would go to our district homepage, lafariaisd.org. From the Select a School menu, go down and choose Noemi Dominguez Elementary, and then click on Library at the top. Once you're on the library page, of course, I would recommend if you haven't already done so to create a bookmark by clicking on these three dots in the top right hand corner. Go down to bookmarks and click bookmark this tab that will create a link up here every time you open up a new Google tab or window. So you can click on library and have easy access to Mac and Via and our other great online resources as well as AR. Once you're on our library website, we do have just as a reminder, our virtual library. This does change out regularly so that you have access to great books based on the current holiday or theme that may be going on, as well as featured authors. And the past virtual libraries are here, so you can click on those and then listen to those books. Here's the link to Mac and Via on our library website. You can also create, using the same steps, a bookmark by bookmarking this tab so that you have easy access to Mac and Via and all of its wonderful resources. So to sign in for the school or library name, the easiest way is to type in Lafaria and then choose Noemi Dominguez Elementary from the drop down menu. Your login for Mac and Via will be the same as you use for your email as well as your Google Classroom. So your user ID is your complete email address. So make sure that you do include at lafariaisd.org and your password is going to be your ID number. Once you're logged in, you'll see your name up at the top and you'll see a menu of all of the resources here on the left hand side. So you have access to ebooks, instructional resources, audiobooks, and more. Right now you start off in a list page and I would recommend that you switch that from 15 items per page to 50 so that you are able to see more. You can also toggle to the icon page. I prefer the list view because you're able to see more information. For each item, you're going to see the title, the author, and a summary. For books that are available, you'll see a black icon on the cover. For books that are checked out by someone else, they will have the red icon with a slash through it, and you'll also be able to see whether there are books available or not. By clicking on More Info, you can see how many pages the book has, as well as the accelerated reader information. So. The RL is what we know as our BL or book level. This is a 5.1 level book. PV is point value. It has uh, a value of seven points. And the number after the note is going to be the quiz number. If you're interested in this book, you can click check out from here, which I would definitely recommend doing, or you can click open now to view online. For the books that are checked out by other students, you can go ahead and request those and then when you are ready to read a book, you have your backpack up here with your menu of your items. So if you have any books checked out, you would click on there to see what books you have checked out. I don't have any checked out currently. You can also see your requests. So as you can see, I have requested two books, but they're not available yet. Once your request is available, you will receive an email and you do need to log back into Mac and Via to go ahead and check out that book to you. The audiobook section is very similar. You will see the title and the author as well as a brief summary. So for books that are unavailable, you can go ahead and request those. For audiobooks that are available, you can listen now or you may check those out. There is also the search bar up at the top. So whatever category that you are in here in the menu. So if you are in audiobooks, this search menu will search only in the audiobooks. If you are in ebooks, you will only be searching in the ebooks category. So just like our normal catalog, you can search by title of the book, the author, or by subject or keyword such as dog, cat, basketball, or whatever you're interested in finding books and resources about. Remember, you can also limit your search and narrow the results. So if you're interested in finding a book that is only 
200 pages long. You can narrow that and find books that fall into that category. You can only see the books that are available. You can also find books that are within your AR reading level. So if, say for example, your ZPD is a 3.8 to a 5.8, you can narrow those results and find only the books that are at your reading level that are perfect for you. And then of course you have the language, so you can see um, other languages may come up depending on what your search results are, so you can choose English, Spanish, or whatever other language, of course, you may prefer to read in. So keep in mind that the ebooks and audiobooks that are here on this main menu we do share, and those could possibly be checked out. The instructional resources does have a lot of other places where ebooks are available, such as BrainHive. This does have the login right here on the screen. So once you click on this, you will be able to access BrainHive and all of those books are always available online. There is BrainPop. There are EBSCO eBooks. And as you can see, there are a lot of resources here. National Geographic Kids. I want to show you that for just a moment. It does have a lot of information. So you have access to videos, pictures, books, and magazines. So you can see all of the books that are available and you have a search bar up at the top. So I just want to go into one book so you can see what it looks like. And most of the e-readers, whether you're in Mac and Via, EBSCO, National Geographic, they have very similar tools with arrows to allow you to turn the pages. You can zoom in or zoom out to enlarge the page or to view two pages or one page. And a lot of the ebooks do have an audio feature that you can listen to the book being read aloud to you. As well as most of the books do have a bookmark feature and a citation. So if you're using this book for a research paper or for a project, you do want to cite or give credit to the author where you found the information. So if your teacher is asking for that information, this is where you would go to find that. And it contains the title, the author, the publisher, and all of the publication data. So National Geographic is one of the resources here in Mac and Bia that has a lot of ebooks as well as other great resources. There are also audiobooks in Learn360, so I would encourage you to log in to Mac and Via using our library website so that you can find a great book to read or listen to. So try out Mac and Via and let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day.